Good morning everyone, this is Dango1867, I hope you're all uh, doing okay today because I am Tickety Boo and this is the uh, long awaited return of the uh, Modern Warfare 3 Masters series. In this episode I am doing uh, Van Gilf's uh, setup that he sent to me, uh, Van Gilf is a, a really great YouTuber, um, he does a lot of really really good videos, he's a, a varied gamer, he uh, puts a lot of different content out on his channel so uh, I'll be putting a link to his channel in the description so be sure to go and check him out and uh, tell him I sent you and uh, first of all I'd say uh, thank you to uh, Superpook and uh, something squishy because uh, in this uh, free versus free game uh, they were my uh, compadres in uh, arms and uh, we pretty much uh, raped this uh, other threesome and I end up going uh, 40 and 5 with the setup uh, suggested to me and uh, it's a pretty beast gameplay to be honest um, even if I do say so myself I uh, I end up getting an AC 130 and it's my first ever one actually because I don't often run kill streaks that high so uh, I'll have to knock on with this then uh, as you can see the map is a ground and the uh, setup sent to me by Van Gilf is the uh, ACR with extended mags and silencer the uh, scorpion secondary with silencer also I think it's a C4 and portable radar uh, with uh, scavenger, assassin and sit rep and obviously the assault package of uh, attack helicopter AH6 and uh, obviously the AC-130 and um, it is a pretty good game like I say um, I'm not, it sounds really stupid, I'm not a massive fan of the ACR um, I tend to prefer the SCAR over it, yeah I know it's on paper the better gun but I always feel like uh, I tend to struggle with it. I don't know why this is probably the best game I've probably ever had with the ACR so um, I tend to always stick to the scar but no the ACR on this game performs amazingly especially at distance I was uh, picking people off like it were a sniper rifle at times probably helped that the uh, opponents weren't the best uh, I'll be honest and having uh, two great gamers like Super Pook and uh, something squishy um, does help when you're playing 3v3 if, you, if you've ever played the 3v3s it's um, it's always better to go in as a team rather than just going on with uh, two randoms because at least you know you're all uh, sort of striving to win whereas some people might be just be like it's kill confirmed and I'll be honest I was kill whoring a tad but it was mainly just because I knew we were going to win this game there was no doubt these guys like that get turned on <laughs> yeah there were no doubt to be honest, the, w the way it started off, I was doing really awesome, like, and that's an epic fail. Yeah, I think yeah, Vader and we had a, a good old chuckle at that as I uh, suicided quite badly. So yeah, the Scorpion with silencer, I do like the Scorpion, <laughs> um, and it, it it is actually a pretty good weapon. Silence actually, um, all the machine pistols are generally pretty good. I think the G18 is probably the worst one, and I think I've said before, but it's also probably the coolest one to carry just because it looks good. <laughs> and it fires ridiculously quick, but uh, the other machine pistols with silencers tend to tend to be a bit more uh, easy to use at range, and I think the Scorpion is uh, just up there with uh, the other ones of being pretty solid with the silencer, and it just takes that little bit of a kick away, and it still fires pretty fast. This guy throwing knife fail there for him. I still get dropped though. Never mind. Yeah, the uh, I don't tend to run C4, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, not a massive fan of it. I prefer Semtex or uh, a throwing knife, if I'm honest. But uh, I know there's some really good people with C4 who are, like tend to get really good kills with it, so I can understand why it's been put in. And then the portable radar, I don't think I use massively on this. I think it's because it's 3v3, and uh, most people tend to use uh, blind eye except an assassin and stuff on uh, 3v3s. So I don't think I throw it out very often. Actually, I'm not even sure I throw it out once. Get over. But I, I do tend to run uh, portable radar myself quite a lot. Scavenger, well, um, it's always handy if you're firing, it, if you're expecting to get to the high kill streaks to have scavenger on, and um, I've got no problems with that. Assassin is a, a, a great perk to use. So I, I tend to run that myself. And sit rep, I think uh, we all know that sit rep's one of the better perks to have, so I can't see anything wrong with that. And uh, for me, the kill streaks that we're going to see come up in a little while as I get me uh, attack helicopter up in the air. 
Yeah, the attack helicopter, the AH-6 and the AC-130. I suppose for running a 3v3 you probably wouldn't be that bothered about going to the AC-130 because you, as you see when I get mine up, it's, um, I think I only get about two or three kills with it to be honest. <laughs> it's partly because I don't really uh, get him very often so usually I only get him from like lucky uh, care packages so actually getting one legit is uh, quite funny. Look at, look at this. I can't even see the map while I'm looking at loads of hills. Alright, so yeah, I don't I don't do amazingly with this. Plus, uh, they know they're losing, so they decide to uh, lemming off the side for a bit <laughs> to avoid getting the tags taken, which is uh, which I suppose makes sense when you're getting that much of a beating. But um, we still won anyway. I don't think they could uh, avoid the uh, inevitable of uh, losing this game. Like I say, it was a really enjoyable class to use. Um, I'd probably swap out the C4, I can't really think of any other uh, things I'd possibly do with it, if I'm honest, uh, the ACR, I still prefer the SCAR, but I'll be honest, as you see from this gameplay, I do do pretty well with it, and uh, I will keep practicing, because there's a legit knife slice there, I think it was because I uh, switched, uh, I had my knife in the uh, setup on, so it was on the, the default setup, rather than my usual gun running tactical setup, so... That's a, that's a bonus in itself, getting a good gameplay when I'm not using the uh, usual setup for my uh, gun. Look at it here though, the distance, it does, um, it does so well. Um, and up close again, look, you can uh, just uh, spray with this thing. But uh, again, I think the gameplay won't say, oh, I was, I was amazing. I, I, I played well, but I think it was partly down to the opponents. Um, coming towards the end of the uh, video, I hope, you, uh, hope you've enjoyed it, looking at a lemming there. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please uh, favourite, rate, comment and subscribe and I will catch you all later. And uh, if you want to be part of the series, please just drop me a setup and I will do my best to get a gameplay from it. I'll catch you all later people. See you all later.